What's up guys, it's Glitch Gaming here, and to today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to clean your dirty duplicates on GTA 5 Online. So if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you do not miss out on any of my latest videos. And if you are looking for cheap, fast and reliable modded accounts, definitely check out Digizani. They are my go-to website for legit modded accounts on PS4, Xbox and PC. Don't forget to use the code GLITCH at checkout for a discount, link will be in the description. So anyways, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to clean all of your dirty duplicates with this solo duplication glitch so you do not get caught by Rockstar. And recently there's been a lot of duplication glitches which require custom plates so I know a lot of people watching this are going to have dirty dupes, cars with the same custom license plates, normal license plates so therefore you do have dirty duplicates and I recommend you do this glitch before it gets patched so when you come to sell the cars you don't actually get caught by Rockstar so if you don't know already this is the solo duplication glitch that I uploaded yesterday but I'm going to be showing you how to use this glitch to actually clean your duplicates so big shout out to the founder of this glitch, I'll leave their channel in the description. So the first thing I want to talk about before we get into the video, I'll leave a timestamp on the screen now if you just want to go and have a look at the glitch. But if you actually want to know what a dirty duplicate is and what the consequences of actually selling dirty dupes and you just want to understand it a little bit more, then definitely listen to this part. But I'll put a timestamp if you just go and watch the glitch. Now a dirty dupe is a car with the same license plate as another car. So even if you're using custom license plates, if the cars have the same license plates or just generic license plates and they all have the same, if you go and sell them actual cars, Rockstar will know that you're selling duplicated cars and therefore they can give you a daily sell limit which you can only sell one car per day for like a month so you definitely want to try and avoid this. And as you can see on the screen now, I have some dirty duplicated cars right here. A glitch, I used a glitch which requires custom license plates and as you can see all three of the duplicates have the same license plate so I'm going to show you how to turn the license plate into generic random license plates so you don't get caught by Rockstar when you actually come to sell them and as you can see all we're going to be doing is using a Fagio or an LG RH8 like this once you buy them you will get a brand new plate from Rockstar and you can actually transfer the plates onto the duplicated cars which are dirty Therefore, you can go and sell them and not worry about getting caught by Rockstar. Now, I'm going to get into the video now. This is the same video that I uploaded yesterday. So, you can actually use this solo car duplication glitch to actually clean your dirty duplicates. And I'll put some little annotations in the video so you know what's what. But you might hear me say about car duplication glitches and stuff. But that's just because this is actually a duplication glitch. What you will need for this glitch is you will need a Lester Job Heist setup sort of continue mission on your phone and this needs to be from Leicester and it needs to be one of the old heists from years ago it doesn't matter which heist it is but it does need to be an old one you need to have that set up on your phone now you also need to know which actual job it's set up in in your apartment so when you have the heist room and you have the job linked to it you need to go into that apartment and then into the garage in the garage it does need to be full and you need to have at least one LGRH8 in there because that's what we're going to be replacing over with. It's much faster if you have the full garage full of LGRH8s so you can just keep duplicating with it. But you do need to have the apartment which the job is linked to and you need to have an LGRH8 inside that garage. Now once you have all of that you do need to have a facility. In that facility you do need to have an Avenger and you need to have the car that you want to duplicate stored inside your facility. You can duplicate any cars, but you can only sell Benny's cars, so make sure you're duplicating an LG Retro Custom. And as you can see right here, I do have an LG Retro Custom stored, and every other slot needs to be taken up, so you do need to have a full facility. Now when you have all of those requirements, what you want to do is go into the back of your Avenger. Now if you don't have any of these requirements, I know these quite a lot, you can check out my last solo money glitch which is on my channel that is the apartment transfer glitch so at this point this is where it gets a little bit different for xbox and ps4 i'll explain xbox first so what you want to do is go to the end of the avenger where it says the cockpit in the top left corner and what you want to do is go to your friend that's in a different targeting mode and basically you want to join your friend in a different targeting mode as soon as you join him you want to spam x so you enter the cockpit and you will see that an alert screen will pop up you want to accept the first alert and decline the second alert as fast as possible 
So you join your friend, accept the first alert, decline the second alert. As fast as possible, and your friend does need to be in a different target mode. If you're having troubles on Xbox, check out Rolly's video, he has an Xbox tutorial. So if you're on PS4, what you want to do is get a recent Active E ready, that says start GTA Online, then just double tap your PlayStation button to go back to your game. What you're going to do is press X to enter the cockpit. As soon as you press X, you want to double tap your PlayStation button again, go back to this screen, and you want to press start GTA Online. And as soon as you go back to the game, you just want to spam circle to decline the alert. Once the alert comes up and you decline it, you should get this weird glitch out screen and you'll spawn in your facility. So both PS4 and Xbox should spawn at this point. Now that's pretty easy, you will see. Once you try it, it is really easy, don't worry about it. If you do have any problems, comment down below and I will help you out. But at this point, when you're in your facility and you're glitched out, what you want to do is open up the Leicester heist job, which is the setup. It can be any heist, but it has to be an old one. What this is going to do is take you back to your apartment, which it is set up in, and then you'll go to your garage with the LG RH18. So make sure that it has the right apartment in. Just make sure before you start the glitch. Once you spawn in, you just want to exit out of the heist board and you want to go into your garage. Now make sure you go in your garage, don't exit your actual apartment because it will mess up the glitch. And you should see that it will be all bright and weirdly glitched out. That's how we know the glitch is working, so don't worry about that. All you're going to do from here is go over to the LG RH8 that is stored in the garage. If the LG is not in this garage and it's a different garage, it means that you've set up the heist in a wrong actual apartment. Now from this point you want to get into the LG and you want to wait about 5 seconds and then tap the accelerator button. Now as you can see I drove out too fast and I actually got bricked so make sure you don't do that. All you want to do is get into the LG and you want to wait about 5 seconds and then you just want to tap the accelerator button so just tap R2 or RT, don't hold it down or that will also mess up the glitch. Now once you spawn outside of your actual apartment you should see that you'll get glitched out and you'll spawn at your facility. Now as you can see, I'm just going to quickly show you, if you look at my license plate right here, we have 46 at the start of the license plate. This is actually the license plate that's going to transfer onto the duplicate, so we don't need custom plates at all, we'll get a fresh plate every time. Now what you want to do from here is drive into your facility and you should get a facility full alert. Now you want to accept the facility full alert, go into the facility and you want to replace it for the car that you're duplicating. So in my case it's the LG Retro Custom and don't worry it won't actually replace, you just want to replace it and you want to run over to the car that you're duplicating and you should see that nothing's changed, the LG Retro Custom is still the same. What you're going to do is get into the car and all you want to do is just drive it out. And as you can see I do have a custom plate on which says GG Squad. Now it doesn't matter if you have a custom plate on or not. All this is going to do is swap it for the new plate. So as you can see, when I drive out, the LG Retro Custom has actually taken the new plate from the LG RH8, and we now have the 48 plate on to this LG Retro Custom. So it's that easy. This is the duplicate, and all you want to do from here is request your mobile operations center. So if you don't have a MOC, what you can do is take it to your office garage and take it into a mod shop in the office garage and just change the paint, and that will actually save it. All you're going to do is drive it into the back of your actual MOC. Make sure that you don't have a car already in the MOC and all you're going to do is store it in the MOC. So your duplicated car is now in the MOC and the original version is inside your facility. Now from here I'm going to show you how to rinse and repeat. It's really easy but that is the car now duplicated. So I'm just going to quickly get into my MOC, drive back over to my facility. But it's that simple guys, that easy. If you do have any problems, comment down below. But all you have to do to rinse and repeat is go back over to your facility and as you will see from here you can literally just go back into your Avenger and start duplicating cars again. So I'm going to go back into my Avenger, go over to the cockpit and I'm just going to do the recent activity or the Xbox method which is join a friend in a different target mode, accept the first alert, decline the second alert. But from here you can just rewind the video and go back through it so it's that easy. This is one of the best glitches we've had for a little while now, so definitely try it out. If you do have any troubles, just comment down below, and I'll try and help everyone out. I know there's quite a lot of requirements, so if you don't have all of it, just check out my last solo money glitch, that is the apartment transfer glitch, 
and you literally only need an apartment. So anyways, if you did like this video, leave a like, subscribe, and until next time, see ya.